Hey guys, it's Mr. Crayfish and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can set up Minecraft Windows 10 edition so you can actually start creating behavior packs. Now we can already start writing behavior packs straight away, however we actually want to use um, vanilla's default behavior packs as kind of a base for anything that we create uh, because you'd have to start writing everything from scratch and it is kind of annoying. So that's why I'm creating this tutorial today because it does require some tricky kind of setting up which is a little bit inconvenient in my own opinion and I hope they uh, change this in the future. So the first thing that I'll do is I'll show you where actually behavior packs and resource packs are located. So it's going to open up our file explorer here and what you want to do is come to the address bar here and just type in um, percentage app data percentage uh, we're then going to go back one folder and then go to local here and then packages and then you want to scroll down it's under Microsoft and it should say Microsoft Minecraft UWP I'm not sure what that UWP means then you're gonna go go to local state games com.mojang and then this is here is where we're going to be putting our behavior packs so I've kind of already started working on something uh, just ignore that for now and then resource packs here is where you put your resource pack so as you can see I've got the um, vanilla's default resource pack here which is what we're going to be retrieving today and then basically if we go into server their entities we've pretty much got all the default behaviors here so uh, let's go into chicken real quickly as you can see this is pretty much the base um, behavior for the chicken and we're pretty much going to be or well, not in this tutorial but a future tutorial I'm going to show you guys how you can create an awesome kind of chicken cannon um, and we're going to have to use this kind of as the starting template for that so uh, that's where the behavior packs and the resource packs are located there's also the worlds and I'm not sure what that is but let's ignore that for now we're just going to minimize that window and now we're actually going to go ahead and retrieve that vanilla pack um, that I mentioned. I'm going to delete that. Delete that. Oh, hopefully. Uh, continue. Okay, <laughs> that's deleted now. So let's go ahead and what we're going to do is open up a new file explorer. So we're going to keep both of those when that that other file explorer open just so we can get back to it easier and where we actually get access to vanilla pack is uh, you want to go to your C drive you want to go to program files now uh, you're actually going to have to turn on hidden items so you want to go to view at the top here click on hidden items it's probably also a good thing to turn on file ex file name extensions as well because we're going to be creating some JSON files and sometimes it will instead um, make it only a text file not a JSON file so once you've turned on hidden items you want to scroll down the list here and find a folder called Windows Apps double click on that now you might get this coming up um, pretty much because it's not really a place where a normal user should be getting access to uh, but in our case we're kind of an exception we actually do want to get into it so uh, you want to press continue now if it doesn't let you in like it did just then I'm gonna link a tutorial down below which is going to allow you to add a permission onto that folder which allows your account to get into it um, so yeah links just link is in the description below for a tutorial on how to do that you want to locate Microsoft.MinecraftUWP again um, in my case I've kinda of got it at the top here already but might be sorted by name so just scroll down until you find it there then you want to go to I think data resource packs and this is where you've got all those kind of um, default packs here so you got all that kind of stuff plastic whatever uh, we're going to be copying out this vanilla one here so you want to right click that copy we're going to go over to our resource packs or our other window here and we're actually going to paste this outside of the resource packs folder here you could paste it anywhere but I'm just putting it in here
And there we go, we have the default vanilla uh, resource and behavior pack here, uh, which is going to allow us to start creating behavior packs a lot easier because now we don't have to start from scratch. We now have kind of some base uh, templates here we can start from. So that's really awesome. So hopefully you learned today how to set up the environment that we need to start developing behavior packs. Now I'm going to be creating some behavior pack tutorials real soon. There's going to be a couple on this channel and there's going to be a couple on my main channel. Uh, my main channel ones are just kind of going to help promote uh, people coming over to here to learn more about behavior packs. But if you guys are excited, make sure you go ahead, hit that like button right now. And um, yeah, that's going to be that's going to end off this tutorial today as well. So uh, stick around, subscribe if you want to keep up to date with all my latest tutorials on here. And I will see you guys later. Bye.